g of x is equal to 4 over x minus 6 plus 5, where x is a real number. We need to sketch the graph of y equals g of x. We need to label any asymptotes and any points of intersection with the coordinate axes. So that's very important. Now, do remember you've got your graphical calculator to help you out here as well. But I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm going to do this manually. Just to show you the logic of where the, this answer comes from. So I'm going to think of g of x as being some sort of transformation of the, the 1 over x graph, first of all. I know the 1 over x graph would look... Let me draw some axes first. Okay, so the 1 over x graph has asymptotes of y, of y equals 0 and x equals 0, so it looks something like that. This x minus 6 on the inside there, though, what that's going to do, that's like me having an x minus 6 on the inside there, so that's going to translate my graph and the asymptote six squares in the positive x direction. So my new asymptote is now going to be over here somewhere, which is the equation x equals six. So the graph of one over x minus six would look something like this. The timesing by the four on the top all that's going to do is multiply all the y coordinates by 4, so it's going to get a little bit steeper. So all the y coordinates are going to be bigger, so it's going to look something like that. And then finally, we've got the plus 5 on the end. That's adding 5 to all of the y coordinates, so that's going to shift my graph up 5 squares. So whereas previously I'd got my asymptote here at y equals 0, it's now going to move up to be at y equals 5. And like I said, the rest of the graph would also shift up. to be something looking like that. So we have now drawn the whole graph. We have got the plus five, we've de dealt with the four, we've dealt with the minus six. I have marked on my asymptotes, but I do need to mark on the y-intercepts as well, and the x-intercept. So I need to mark on both of those coordinates. So let's see the y-intercept first, so when x equals 0, y is equal to 4 divided by 0 minus 6, which is obviously just minus 6, plus the 5, which gives 13 over 3. So that's my y-intercept. Now to get the x-intercept, that's when y equals 0. So 0 equals 4 over x minus 6 plus 5. So multiply through by the x minus 6. Four minus the 30 is minus 26. Add the 26 to both sides, divide by 5. So we get tw x is 26 over 5. And that's my x-intercept. And there we go. I've marked on, I've drawn my graph, I've drawn on the x-intercepts, I've drawn on the y-intercept, I've drawn on the two asymptotes. We're done.